You're watching a Sony Vegas compilation. What's up guys, my name is Alex. Welcome back to a- What are you doing? Dude, I'm recording a video okay. for YouTube. Alright guys, so welcome back to this video and in this video I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to clone yourself multiple times So I would say make sure to smash that like button down below and I would say let's get started Alright, you can come now Fucking hell What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new Vegas Pro 15 tutorial and in this video guys, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to clone yourself multiple times. So I also showed you guys how to clone yourself like once, uh, I did that video I think a few months ago or a few weeks ago, uh, it is this one. That's a really cool effect, but now we're gonna take it to the next level. So make sure to smash that like button down below and also let's get started. So as you can see right now, this is me standing right here and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to clone yourself multiple times. So the first thing that you need to do is grab your camera, put it on a tripod or something high. Then what you wanna do is you wanna keep that tripod on the same place. Otherwise you're gonna see weird differences. So make sure to keep that tripod on your whole video. So what you want to do then is in one take, you want to act every little part. So right here, as you can see, I'm acting uh, like that I'm coming in. That's, what, that's why I'm bothering and stuff. Then the next thing I'm gonna just go ahead and walk outside of the screen and then I'm gonna walk into the screen I'm gonna lay down with my cat as you can see on the couch Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just sit there for a second walk away and then do the second thing Which is gonna sit there with my cup of tea Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna also just walk away and then do the last part where I'm gonna sit right there So that's a pre gonna be pretty straightforward. and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that So we're gonna start off by making myself walk into uh, the actual screen and then I'm gonna sit on the couch So what we're gonna do then first is I'm gonna cut away to uh, until I'm outside of the screen That's going to be right here. Then what we're gonna do guys is really simple We're gonna just copy this and paste this. So we have two the same tracks We're gonna delete the audio by pressing U then create a new video track and place this guy on top of it So now that we have two video tracks now the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna just go ahead and make myself sit in the couch as you can see like that Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cut where I'm going away And then I'm going to uh, walk into the screen with my cup of tea. So we're gonna skip with where it is 
uh, let's see where it is. Let me go a little back right there. So then what we're going to do is I'm going to just make myself walk in. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Ivan Pan crop. What we're going to do is we're going to mask the whole area where I'm going to sit with my cup of tea. So select the anchor creation tool and we're going to just go ahead and mask around the place where I'm going to sit. And as you can see, when I'm doing this, I'm walking into the screen. It, it looks that cool. It's a little bit laggy because the footage is a little bit uh, heavy. But if I play back in slow motion, as you guys clearly can see, this is me walking into the screen and this is how you clone yourself, obviously pretty simple. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just duplicate this track again, just create a new video track. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go ahead and mask where I'm going to sit on the left so we're gonna just go ahead and uh, mask where i am outside of the screen like so i'm gonna drag it uh, to here as you can see i'm setting down and then i'm gonna make this clip fade in so i'm gonna go to the uh, event pan crop and right here we're gonna uh, reset the mask and we're gonna mask everywhere where i'm sitting into the couch on the left so if i mask this as you can see we have a little line appearing right there so we're gonna go to feather type both and we're gonna drag this marker until that line disappears like this boom so if you if you skip through it as you can see we are three times in the screen and it is that simple i want to thank you guys for watching thank you for the continued support and this is basically how to do it guys this is how you can how you clone yourself multiple times so this is basically what it looks like finished up So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to render this part real quick. So I'm going to pick this 60 FPS and I'm just going to call this masked. And if I click on render, as you can see, that part is rendering. So that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the continued support. And I will see you guys tomorrow in a brand new video. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new Vegas Pro 15 tutorial and in this video guys, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to create the water ripple effect. Now you can apply this on gaming footage anytime you're shooting or you can just apply this on any video in general and for the people who don't know what I'm talking about, I'm basically talking about this. Boom. Boom. As you can see, that's a really nice water rippling effect. If I do this, as you can see, it is just going to have the water ripple effect on it. So that's going to be really, really cool and really, really simple. Make sure to smash that like button down below already for me. And I would say, let's get started. All right, guys, we are in Vegas Pro 15 and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to create that awesome water ripple effect. So I would say make sure to smash that like button down below and I would say let's get started. So as you can see right now, I have a really small clip of mine saying boom twice. Boom. Boom. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to make the ripple effect when I say boom. So the first thing that we're going to do to start off is really simple. What we're going to do is we're going to cut it right here with this boom. Then what we're going to do is we're going to also cut it right here at this boom. Then we're going to create a new video track. And then what we're going to do is we're going to copy this one and we're going to, you know, put it on the track above it. We're going to delete the audio so we have so we will have two clips onto each other. We're going to do that for this for the second one as well. So go ahead and remove the audio and place it on there. Then what we're going to do is really simple. We're going to go ahead and add in a fade in and also on the last one. The second thing that we're going to do, really simple, is we're going to go to transitions and we're going to go to iris right here. This one that we're going to do is we're going to click on circle out white border. We're going to drag that on top of the transition. And we're going to also do that on the second one. I'm going to drag it also on this one. And if I play back this video, this is what it looks like.
as you can see, a nice white line that's zooming in. But to, in order to make this look like water, we're going to go to the compositing mode of the track of the duplicated video. We're going to click on there. We're going to pick custom. And what we're going to do here is going to be pretty simple. We're going to pick Vegas height map. We're going to go ahead and click on add, click on OK. And then what we're going to do, guys, really simple, is we're going to go ahead and click on this one. We're going to pick the bottom one, and we're going to also check Alpha Channel Scales RGB Channels, as you can see. So if I play back this video, uh, this is what it looks like. As you can see, that looks really cool, and that looks just like water. But as you can see right now, I'm looking really weird. So I'm going to just add in a nice fade out, as you can see, like this. And I'm going to also uh, do that on the last one. So this is basically how to do it, guys. This is how you create a water ripple effect. It is really simple. Obviously, you can just go back to the to the settings, and you can mess around with the f those few markers. So what you want to do is put the feather to uh, maximum. I'm going to also do that on the second one i'm going to place uh, the feather uh, completely to the right like this and obviously you can mess around with other markers but this is how to do it guys that's it for this really quick tutorial but this is how you actually uh, create the wa water ripple effect it is really cool you can apply this on gaming videos like i said you can apply this on general videos so that's how to do it guys this is it so i want to thank you guys for watching thank you guys for the continued support and we're just a few hundred subscribers away from 150,000. and i'm running a huge giveaway when that happens i think in a couple of days so thank you guys for watching stay tuned Keep your ears and your eyes open on your sub box because the video might come out very soon. So that's it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Just Alex Halford.